Hi there guys, it is Marianne from Thrive with your tip of the day and today I want to talk to you about being able to track and monitor the edits that have been made in a document that you're working on with several other people. And it could be something that you've worked on over time, but this one is probably most useful if you're working with multiple people who are dropping into a central document. Now, if you don't have your track changes on, which I would always recommend, then this is another option to show you the edits. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the version history of a document. And to do that, it's actually much easier than it used to be. We simply, when I've got my document open here on the screen, go up to the top here where we've got the name of the, the title of the document in the top. And you'll see we have this little option here called version history. And I've got a version open because it took mine a minute to open it up. So what happens is it will open up this sidebar. Now we can have edits on or off. And if I do it this way, it's actually going to show the edits in here. So if I select one of these, it's going to show it here, which is where I've added this OMW. Um, and it goes back all the way. So this one goes back to the beginning of February this year. Um, it's the middle of March at the time of recording. So you can see it's got who it is, it's got the date and time, and any one that I click on, it's going to show me that modification. So I can jump around the document and see what's going on. Now, in this instance, obviously, it's just me. So it's quite easy. But if you had different people and they're logged in, and you've given them access, it will show their name. So it will either show their name or their email address. If they're um, an external guest user, it may not show their full name, it may just show um, a part of their name or their email address. But this is a great way for you to be able to track the history. Uh, you can see here that there are no edits, it's all modified because this is the way it's been, been done and we can play around with how this sits on our screen as well. If you're looking to track what's going on in your document, then check out the version history and see if you can pinpoint where someone has done something that perhaps you need to undo.